Um, I live in the summers in the south of France in a big town, a university town. And um, actually, I want to read you two from that town. Don't worry, they're not long. And the, it's a um, there's some very bored teenagers in that town. <laughs> I've been observing them. Here they are. There are bored teenagers all over the place. Have you noticed? <laughs> July. Under the cliff walls of apartment blocks, on a narrow patch of grass as tough and discolored as old carpet, they parked their motorbikes and distributed themselves. A tribe, a colony, girls and boys. Some lounged on the sward, some on cement paving in a strip of shade. Some on two facing wrought iron benches planted in concrete. Out of range of grown ups, they play cards, they scuffle. A girl places her head on a boy's lap to practice kissing. They smoke, they pass lit cigarettes back and forth. A smaller boy pops a soccer ball against the wall with slow, heat drugged, sidewise kicks. Hours pass. Cigarettes burn down. Where am I? The ball thuds and shadows lengthen across concrete from four cypresses and six anorexic ginkgos. Day is endless. Summer is endless. Their throats sweetly sear. They drink coke and toss the plastic bottles on the grass. This place, for now, is theirs. They can throw what they want. Their lungs are their own to burn. Their limbs loll in the loosened harmony of dancers at rest. They can pick themselves up when they want. And this is really the last poem. It's called Sans Domicile Fixe, which is a French bureaucratic jargon for the, the homeless. And there's some, there are a lot of what I call the new homeless in France who are young people, or youngish, some of them are actually young middle-aged people, but they're traveling in tribes and they have a very distinct uniform, kind of military, slightly punkish, they have big scary dogs and they, they sleep out and they're very organized. <laughs> and France is, and the whole world is a very unsettled place right now, have you noticed? People are unhappy. <laughs> So this is about not having a fixed place to live or a sense of security. Sans domicile fixe. Clouds like boulders. Boulders like petrified clouds that rolled down and stalled in the meadow. That was yesterday. Now we're in a centripetal apartment with peonies aging in two vases, pink and cream petals frizzling into crepe. Mirrors multiply the years. I see you seeing me in the gilt-framed oval by the desk. I see us both in the window reflected in the closet door glass. My eye corners crease. Flecks of dark chocolate streak the inner spines of all the books. Words are drugs. Love is a drug. While Europe contracts into dark burgundy upholstery and cushions. Deep in the French-English dictionary, three asterisks mark extreme vulgarity. How long can we stay here? Outside, the new homeless twist dreadlocks and pace their mastiffs. Tattoos bulge on their forearms. Paper wrappers and crushed cans clot the gutter. Sun leaps off the roof tiles. A brisk sea wind. In the mountains, those small purple flowers with pods and curling tendrils, now you tell me, were vetch.